What's going on YouTube? The Bowtie Fragrance Guy, man. We're back with another video today and I'm excited to be talking to you guys about the fragrances that I want to talk to you guys about today because uh, they come from a brand of four obvious reasons that are very uh, near and dear uh, to my heart. But if it's your first time uh, catching this channel and uh, having a chance to come across the content on my channel, we talk about uh, primarily um, fragrances. Uh, but I also get into some things in regards to style and men's grooming and hygiene and things of that nature because, you know, I think it's about the total package, smelling good and looking the part as well. So if that kind of content uh, may be of interest to you, I hope you don't mind considering subscribing to the channel. And if you do so, make sure you hit the bell icon as well. So that way, uh, when a new video is uploaded to the channel, you'll get notified. So I want to be talking about two brand new releases uh, from the brand of Nabitus Parfums. Uh, and if you guys are newer to the channel and for some reason you are not aware, um, I personally did four fragrances, five fragrances, I'm sorry, with uh, Nabitus Parfums uh, over the past three or four years or so. And uh, they have two new releases that I want to talk to you guys a little bit about today. Uh, so that's what we're going to be jumping into. But I am really anticipating uh, getting my nose on these fragrances because I've kind of looked at the notes on them and they seem to be right up my alley. Uh, I still do have discount codes that work uh, for uh, any of the fragrances I'm going to talk about, 10%. But there's also a 25% on one of these fragrances that you guys will be able to take advantage of if you want to uh, try the fragrance out. So that's what we're getting into today. So I'm going to run the intro, and when we come back, we're going to jump into it. So if you want to see what I have to say about these two new, very exciting uh, releases, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into the video. Of course, you guys can see I am chillaxing today. Uh, normally, of course, I'm in a shirt and tie or suit and things of that nature, but I am chilling. It's the weekend when I shot this particular video. So, listen, I'm taking it easy. So, I had a show this weekend. I had actually three shows. Um, uh, if you guys don't know, I do some acting. And I had a stage play that I was in this weekend. And, um, you know, so I, your boy is pretty tired, man. But um, anyway, I took my fragrances with me, as I said before, and I've done five fragrances with Novice Parfums. Unfortunately, uh, one of my absolute favorites, um, which is Serenade, uh, which I told a story about this. That's my line name. I pledge the fraternity. That's my line name. So that fragrance was very special to me, of course. All of them are, but especially that one for from the standpoint of the name. Oh, man. And I really sit back and marvel at what a masterpiece Serenade is. I mean, cognac, cinnamon. Um, it, it, again, it just was an amazing fragrance, how we, uh, we put it together. And uh, unfortunately, again, it's discontinued. But I have my bottle. I don't have it here with me at the moment. But I did Serenade. I also had this one that I did with Knowledge, which was Lyric, which originally was named Obad. Right. And we had to uh, change the name. Uh, but Lyric has almond, toffee, cinnamon, musk. Just uh, an amazing signature scent. All right. Definitely uh, one that could be worn year round, anytime, anyplace, anywhere. This one is still available. Um, I did this, which I say is a gourmand lover's dream, uh, which is divine aphrodisiac. My last collection with Novitus, uh, which this one features. Um, uh, notes of cinnamon, almond, sesame. There's this infamous peanut butter accord that we uh, concocted with coffee and praline. Again, if you love gourmand fragrances, seriously, if you have not gotten your nose on this, you're doing yourself a significant disservice. I took these fragrances with me uh, in the dressing room uh, with the guys and they were going absolutely crazy about all four of these fragrances. So um, definitely try to check these out as well while you're looking at the ones I'm going to talk about today. Old Devil Nair is another one that I did with Novitus in the green bottle. Definitely seems to be a crowd pleaser. Petit Grain, Citron, Tuberose, Jasmine, Lavender, Oak Moss, and Broxen Musk. Again, the perfect balance. I wanted to do something where for my collection that women would feel comfortable wearing, but guys could pull it off. Mission accomplished because 
guys love this to put it on themselves. Women love it themselves to put it on and women compliment this fragrance a lot. This is a crowd pleaser. That's Old Devil Nair. And then of course, another signature scent I did, Sartorial Nui, which is this one right here. Another signature scent uh, that features lavender, orange blossom, tonka bean, vanilla, sandalwood, musk, some of the main notes. Seriously guys, not to toot my own one, but all five of my fragrances are fantastic. So if you haven't checked those out yet as well, we run deals on those. Uh, right now, I always have my 10% off, which I'll link that down below if you want to check those out as well. But let's get to the two newer releases from Novitus um, that they sent me to talk about. I may mess this name up. Miel Extase? Extase, maybe? <laughs> I'm giving it a shot. But uh, this is kind of the signature packaging that Novitus fragrances come in now. When you uh, open it up, the fragrance rests securely in the base of the box. And of course, this fragrance, uh, of course, looks like, actually looks pretty close to the Sartorial Nui bottle. Although they've changed a few things on the, the uh, plaque on the front. But this is the fragrance. I'm excited to smell this one because, again, I looked at the notes and let me read to you guys what's in it. This one was done in collaboration with Karina Delone. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Karina. Um, from the Dear Makeup Diary channel. Uh, so this is um, who Novitus collaborated with for this particular fragrance. And it's an extract de parfum concentration. Let me read the notes to you guys. Apricot, wild honey, dried fruits, saffron, rum, violet wood, and ginger. Uh, Brazilian tonka bean, Madagascar vanilla, chocolate, caramel toffee. This was done by Bertrand Duchefort, uh, which who had a hand in my fragrances as well, and Pierre Flores. So let's see what this thing smells like. I'm gonna spray it on skin, guys, instead of a test strip, because I wanna get the true essence of what this is. Let's see if we can get this here. Focus on the spray. Control mist, I love that. Wow. So let's see what we have here. Give it a, ooh, I picked it up already. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. I get chocolate right out of the gate. Chocolate and honey, wow. What an elixir this is. Let's see. Yeah, this chocolate is listed as a base note, but I get chocolate right out of the gate. I got chocolate and I got, I'm getting that apricot honey combination. So to my nose, right out of the gate, chocolate, apricot, honey. That's what my nose picked up on. Mmm. There's a little bit of a freshness that's coming in here that may be the ginger that I'm picking up on right now. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, yeah. Very unique. Um, off the top of my head, nothing comes to my mind when I smell it. But it is a very uh, heavy presence of chocolate in the opening uh, of the fragrance. But I really like this one. I want to spray the other one and give this one a little few minutes to dry down as I continue to uh, kind of talk. But inviting, alluring, and seductive. I would have to agree with all those adjectives just off an initial spray. This is really, really good. Yeah, man, I like that. Um, let's go to the other one now. This one, check out the presentation. Novitus, listen, if you guys see this video, I got an idea for another fragrance, okay? And I want it to be in this presentation. I'm just letting you know that now. So this one right here, look at this presentation. All right, let me get this out of here. Well, I've already taken it out, but I don't want to show you guys the presentation. This one was done with a, in combination with a fashion designer, Victor de Souza or Sousa. And um, this is the box here. I love when they come in this kind of... in this kind of box or uh, case like this. The fragrance will rest inside securely in here. And this one is called Splendor Absolute. Here is the bottle. 
right? So they have another collection of fragrances over at Novices where they do this presentation. If I did another one, I want this presentation. <laughs> uh, but let's look at the notes, guys. Italian bergamot, grapefruit, and rum. Uh, cardamom, chocolate, driftwood, and on the base we have vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, and white musk. Again, the perfumer on this was Bertrand Duchafour. So let's give it a spray and see what we pick up on the initial blast. Okay, this one is a little bit fresher than the other. Now, I read some notes here. Um, as I looked at the notes, that would lend me to believe that I would probably get something similar. But this is a lot fresher with that bergamot and grapefruit up top. I get a lot of that. I am picking up a slight bit of booziness in the background from the rum, and this is just initial blast here. But I thought this one, I was going to get more of that chocolate just like the last one, but I haven't really picked up on that yet. Yeah, this is more of a little fresh, more of a spiciness. What is that? Cardamom. Yep. There we go. A little bit more fresh, spicy on the top. I'm starting to get something that's a little bit powdery coming in here. To my nose. Mmm. Nice. Let me go back to the other one really quick. I want to see what, if anything, has changed. There's still a very heavy presence of uh, chocolate with this one. So I would say with uh, Miel Extase, Extase, I don't know how to pronounce that. But with this one, you're going to have to be a, a lover of chocolate. If you love chocolate and fragrances, you're going to love this fragrance. Now, I don't mind it. I really like it. I like sweet fragrances. I like gourmands. We're in the season for that. But if you don't like chocolate, See, this is going to be one that you may not gravitate towards because we're a couple minutes into it. Now, look at that, my hand. That's that extract de parfum, man, that oil concentration. But because it's still very uh, present in this fragrance again. So I'm. if you like gourmands, if you like chocolate, I think you're going to love this one. Like I said, apricot, the honey is still there. Not getting much in regards to dried fruits. To my nose um, but I am picking up the ginger and then that sweetness of the tonka bean and the chocolate caramel toffee stuff if you love gourmand you're gonna love that one now again let's go back to splendor absolute what you guys want to let you know I do have a code a specific code for this one because it's more expensive the presentation the bottle and that kind of stuff so the code that they're allowing my subscribers to use is bowtie-25 so you'll get 25% off if you want to uh, pick up a bottle of Splendor Absolute. You'll get 25% off. Plus, you're going to get a free $145 discovery set as well that has um, a lot of fragrances from Novitis' uh, portfolio of fragrances. So you'll get that for free and you'll get 25% off. Like I said, if you want to get a bottle of Splendor Absolute for the other ones, my fragrances uh, the other release um, as well that you'll be able to get 10% off with just the standard code from Novitis. So that's what we have going on. But guys, yeah, I'm getting some of the sweetest stuff coming in. Now, this is really, really nice, man. That booziness from rum is starting to really take over the freshness that I got in the opening. And that cardamom um, is really starting to play more of a predominant role in the fragrance. And it's starting to get a lot sweeter than what I initially sprayed the vanilla tonka bean and sandalwood is already starting to peek in there a little bit. This is really, really nice. I think this is a perfect signature scent right here where the other one is really a, a gourmand fragrance, which I preserve gourmands for um, cooler temperatures and more specific environments going out and things of that nature. This smells like the perfect signature fragrance right here. I really, really like this one. I'll spray it again. But yeah, guys, that's what we have going on, man. Two amazing new releases with Novitis Parfums. Like I said, if you want to check them out, 
I will have all links down in the description. I'm going to come back later on. Maybe I'll do something here, a short on Instagram where I kind of update you guys on performance. But both of these are straight to perform, so I expect them to perform, you know, seven, eight hours plus. But um, yeah, I really like both of these uh, releases. So if you smell these fragrances already, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Uh, which one sounds more appealing or interesting to you? I would love to hear from you about that down in the comment section as well. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time. I appreciate your attention to these videos. Guys, I know you guys don't have to watch what you're doing. I sincerely, sincerely, I appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or may find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.